Hello, welcome back to ASL Ponderings and I'm gonna talk about this video before I leave for my trip. I felt like doing this video before that. Now I'm gonna talk about probably one of my biggest pet peeves. And I'm just gonna start with that. This is always a problem. I see this happening all the time, so often, and I really don't understand the reason because it's really annoying. It's so frustrating, and this is what it is. Do you see the problem with this? I do not understand why people do this. I really don't. I mean, look at it. I don't care if you don't use ASL, that's your own problem. But if you do, you're just hurting yourself. You're putting yourself at a disadvantage. With a full screen, you can use all of this space. You can move around. With half a screen, you're only limited to this space here. You can't move any further than this. And this frame, you can only move this far forwards. And sometimes people do this often as well. It's very shaky and they're very restricted. They see black on either side and the video is just like this. You see just the one frame in the middle and I can't do this. I have to switch it back. This is very frustrating. If this is your personal preference, I don't care, but posting it on YouTube like that, don't do it. When you post a video like that on ASL that, just don't. It's really annoying. So for all of you who don't know, ASL that is a group that is specific for ASL. It has ASL words and grammar. It's a help it's a way for people to learn ASL words. If you haven't learn sign yet it's a way to help you learn it's basically discussions about asl which is great i love it i've posted on that before as well if i need to know a word or if i want to throw some words out there for people to learn and share with all of you then i post on there but it's really really frustrating when people put in the comments, post comments on videos that are like that. Just stop. Make it full screen. Easy as that. It's not that hard to do. And if you have it up ways, it poses some difficulties as well. You know, if you have it like you're calling on the phone. One problem is that you have to put your phone up and it can keep sliding down and falling. But when you turn your phone sideways, it's less likely to fall and it will stay. So just stop, please stop. Thank you for listening to my rant. Let me know your thoughts on this topic and if you have anything else you want to say about it and put those comments down below and I'll see you next time.